Moving along here in the world of crazy shit. Women literally caused so many problems with us men today. Look, here's the thing. Um, yeah, perhaps, but there's certainly enough things that we as men do that put ourselves in these fucking situations. Case in point, perfect segue is Anthony Edwards. Let's talk about this, man. Um, so this is going viral. Anthony Edwards going viral uh, for allegedly paying a woman $100,000 to get an abortion. And here's where we're at with this. Let me run you down the series of tweets here. All right. So it starts off with Dream Page, another IG mo model. I don't know who the hell they are. I don't follow any IG models because for what, right? And fellas, please don't follow them. You know what I'm saying? You're just being simpy and thirsty. Um, uh, Dream Page is the name here. So out of nowhere, she posts on her stories, I think, or this might be actual posts. Uh, it's on her stories here. So here we have a picture at the very top of a clear blue pregnancy test. I still have an appointment on the 27th. Anthony replies, hell no, can't do this. She says, so not what? What, what a great response. She, uh, he says, get an abortion, LOL. She then replies, honestly, I had an abortion with my son around two years ago and I regret it every day. He says, man, you can't force a kid in the world. You don't know what it is yet, <laughs> right? She then responds, that's not the point. I had to get an abortion two years ago and I regret it. Yes, he says, yes, but I don't want a kid. He's very clear in where he stands in this and he's expressing himself. So by the way, the fact that you send over a, a, a pregnancy test here, um, first of all, if you're at this level of celebrity, I'm not taking that for, that don't mean nothing to me unless she pees on that stick in front of me. So I can see that that is you. You, this is easy to doctor up, pull off the internet, have a friend pee on it that's pregnant, you know, to get you into some kind of crazy situation here. Uh, the next screenshot she shares, being cool to you is just going to get, uh, is going to get an abortion by myself and you're not doing shit and going about your day. That's being cool to you. Obviously you've been through this before just by your reaction. Uh, he responds, I'll send you the money to help you out. Her response to this, ready? I didn't ask for it, but Okay, right? That's how I read that's how I read that. You know, it wasn't like me fully coming out and saying you got to pay me for this, but and so it's like I didn't ask you for it, but sure. Put it right here. She says, "You just don't want a baby." Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying all of this cuz I've been cool with you. And it comes off to me as though as like we've been cool together. It's like, "You don't want to have a baby with me? Are you sure?" He comes back I don't want kids. You ain't changing this man's mind. Let's handle this like grownups. I think up until this point, it's been pretty respectable. You know what I'm saying? He's been clear about what he wants and where he stands on the situation. She says, okay. She goes on to add, I'm not trying to force you to be a dad to a baby you don't want. I just don't like abortions. That doesn't make me wrong. If you really don't want to do this, fine. I won't. So again, she's saying like, I want to force you to do it. If you don't want it, I'm not going to do it. Okay. Next screenshot she shares is him saying, just take the pills. She says, you don't care about no one but you. He then says, you got the money. What's the hold up? Because now you finna make it a problem. Now, mind you, he said, you got the money. What's the hold up here? He, you know, I'm going to save my analysis once we get through this, because I'm going to really break this down, man, and why this is crazy. So then she replies, fit on what make, what a problem. I don't give a fuck. I've been nice this whole time. I don't bother you. I don't ca uh, cause no problems. Not speaking or nothing. Not cause problems, nothing. Don't speak to me like that. I told you I would, uh, I told you I would because you want me to. So that's, uh, so that's you talking about a life. Just be somewhat understanding. I told you I'll be home soon. He says, okay, just make sure I get the video or the box with the right pills. She says, what other pills would they be, Anthony? He said, I'm just making sure. Then this right here is what has now become a meme. First, she sends a picture of what seems to be an AI baby for God knows what purposes. Look how cute. And with the little broken heart thing, she's trying to really sway him into this whole idea so, ever so subtly to maybe rethink having a baby with her, right? Because 
This is an 18 year contract come up. He says, send the video. She replies, I haven't even uh, taken them or received anything. He replies, send the video. <laughs> Why are you repeating the same shit? The video? <laughs> I was asleep. Okay. Where's the video? That right there has become a meme. If you go on Twitter, it's trending right now. Send the video, right? It's it's, and then people are posting a funny like video to go with it. It's actually pretty funny, and uh, I think we actually got some to take a look at here. So that that is the um, conversation that she shared. Now there are so many different things about this that we need to break down because it is mind blowing on how wrong a lot of what's happening here is. First, let's let's address this. The fact that, and it's not just this IG model Dottie here, but we see this a lot of people, primarily women, leaking private conversations online for clout, for hits, views, whatever. This needs to be addressed because I think that just as bad and just as, as illegal as it is now for anyone to uh, put revenge porn out, right? We all know what that is. If you tape something, you break up with someone, you, re you release a, a, a video of them doing some kind of sexual act. That is now by and large a criminal act in a lot of places, if not everywhere at this point. I would argue that going in to release private messages is equivalent to releasing a revenge porn video because you are causing the same harm just in a different way to the person. It's embarrassing. It's exploitative. Um, it's just bad without any context. You just decide that I'm just going to put this out there. Like what was the reason for her putting this out to the public? It was 100% to shit on him, make him look bad, get some uh, clout relevancy, you know, whatever it may be. There was no reason for her to release this, especially if he uh, cleared the check and paid her. There was another, um, I don't know if I have it. Yeah, here. Here's a screenshot she also shared of the payment. $100,000 on November 27th. Why is it that she's releasing this on December 18th? She's been paid, right? She's been paid for this. And now after the fact, this is problematic. It needs to be addressed with some kind of law that you should not be allowed to just openly divulge personal messages sent to you. And if they, if, if those messages were um, potentially criminal, then it needs to go to the authorities, not to social media. So there's one of my first issues with this and it, it is problematic. And, and the people that do this need to get uh, held accountable for leaking stuff to the public um, for, unwarranted. We didn't need to know that y'all were having this issue going on between yourselves. That's a private matter. And you really just expose them. Same thing with Mariah Mills with Zion Williamson that we saw, uh, Kiki Palmer did it releasing the text message or was it him? Or I think her and, and her baby daddy did that. They were both filed for that, for releasing, uh, texts, trying to expose each other. It's just, it's bad. It does. It's just, it's bad. And again, I, I equate that to releasing, uh, revenge porn, right? So there's one thing. The other aspect of this is that nothing upsets me more that, than when I see men not having the sexual discipline to not put their dicks inside these IG thotties and these only fan girls and these sex workers that are looking for a come up. Now, this is obviously we're talking about uh, you know, athletes, entertainers, like men that have a, uh, you know, a lot of clout status, a lot of money, they tend to get preyed upon by these types of women that are out there. Very specifically, these types of women, I want to be clear on that, right? That are out there on the hunt. Think of Brittany Renner. She's probably like one of the OGs of it at this point. Um, and you know, what's ironic about this is you see these conversations on Twitter where, Women, when it comes to the age gap, when men date down, you see these conversations or you see these stories where like a man's 40 dating a 22 year old girl, you know, woman rather. And the girlies on Twitter would be like, this is so wrong. This gives pedo vibes date within your range, age range. 
you know, this is crazy. You got, you should at least wait till she's 25 because she, she could fully develop her brain and all this stuff up. Okay. All right. If we're going to play by those rules, then why is there no outcry when these IG fucking thotties go hunting for these young NBA ballers that just came up and got a big contract, made it up out the hood? Because a lot of times they came, they come from impoverished communities in the hood that ma many of us probably grew up in as well. Um, and families still might be in there. They were able to escape that, get a, a financial come up that sets them up and their family up potentially for life. And there are women out there like Brittany Renner, like this woman and so many, like Mariah Mills, that are preying on these 19, 20, 21, 22 year old, 23 year old men that ironically haven't developed their full maturity brain by, cause they're not 25 yet. But these older women are preying on them and finessing them, um, you know, and, and, and again, I hold these guys accountable too. you got to, you got to have that discipline, not to put your, your, the tip in and go raw in, in these types of girls is crazy, but they're also young, right? They never had access to any of this. And, and, and the reality about this, and this is what bothers me about in the red pill space. When they talk about high value, man, we need to be clear. There's two, there's really two types of men. There, there's the high value man and the high status man. And too much in the red pill space, they talk about high value man. And what what's problematic about the talking points around high value man in the red pill space is that it's primarily focused on how much that man makes and his social status. I would argue that social status and how much money you have only really applies and that what that's what separates the high status men from the high value man. What makes a high value man to me, in my opinion, sure having money, having some level of status, but it's about a man that stands on something, has morals, has an ethos, uh, has self integrity, self dignity, commands respect, uh, has boundaries. It's clear about that. Those are the elements to me that are the foundation for what a man is all about, right? He knows where he stands. He's confident in himself. He won't do shit uh, just to be cool and look good. He He's 10 toes down and he holds himself in that manner. And if you add the money and you add the status, that to me is a high, high value man. All these other guys that got bread and got a little bit of social media motion don't mean they're high value. They could just be high status because there's a lot of men out here that got money and got some clout, but are cornballs. And I'm no ladies. And some of you fellows know this too. There's a lot of cornball men that came up, got some bread, some crypto bros or whatever they may be, um, come up on some money. But they're still corny. They're still using their money to lead with women and they get finessed. They... Uh, never had bitches before and not because they got money. It puts them in a position to get some and they lose any mind because they got no control. They never had bitches before. They don't know how to interact with women. They just pay their way through the pussy. And these are the type of men that make me disgusted because they, it's just, you shouldn't be doing this. This is not how you move. You will only ever be a, a walking ATM to those types of women. And you're only going to attract those types of women and not, a woman that's generally trying to rock with you for you and be by your side and and love you uh, and support you in, in the ways that you want because you're only you're only ever running into the bitches that want your bread and they're gonna play a good game like the ones that are good they're gonna play like they love you they're gonna play like they really want to be with you and all of that bro it's a finesse they there for the bread for for the trips for the bags that you gonna get her and the minute she sees someone that got a little bit more bread than you. Bye. You know what I'm saying? And that's best case scenario because other times they're going to let you hit raw all you want. Baby, don't you got to pull out. Don't even trip, baby. I got you. You know, I got the pill. Don't trip. How the hell are you pregnant now? <laughs> right? So now it's an 18 year come up. So in this situation, I, I hate to see men playing themselves, being reckless out here. You have so much to lose. One of the most valuable things that that my boss, when I got hired in the radio, um, my boss, who was a woman, a program director, she's she's dead now, rest in peace, Chris Kelly. But I had this advice coming from a woman. She said, Moon, you're in a good looking guy. You're about to be the voice of the city of Chicago. 
you're going to have so many women throwing themselves at you. I'm going to tell you this. Don't fuck with a bitch who don't got nothing to lose. And remember, I told you that. And I swear to God, I have that stuck with me ever since that day. And especially because it came from a woman. She knew what it is out there. And she gave me, and I'll always be thankful for this. She gave me the game to give me a heads up, uh, to be mindful of if I'm at this level, if she not even, if she got nothing going on for herself, I'm not saying that she had to be at my level in terms of like my finances and, uh, you know, my status, but like she basically has to have something happening going on for herself because if you attract those women that don't got nothing going on, they're going to leech onto you. They're going to cling onto you for dear. They're going to cling onto you like Jonathan Major's girl that we watched in the, in the video when he was trying to away from, run away from her. She was trying to grab him and no, Jonathan, come back because that they see you as a, as a bag, a come up. You know what I'm saying? It's a come up. So here's a picture of who this woman is. Um, so this is the woman Anthony Edwards has accidentally gotten pregnant. Um, and again, I, I don't get impressed by this. Some of you right now, keep it a buck, are like, damn, bro. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go find her Instagram and go follow her right now. Why? For what? So you could beat your meat to, to, to that? Bro, I didn't see bodies like this. I'm not phased by it. You know, you could essentially buy this body, which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? You could buy the body. I, it, it, here's another one. This is even crazier because this is a bad BBL, bro. Look at this. That is so bad. It's just built different and not even in like a good way. It's just, you know, but, but that's the woman that, you know, he allegedly knocked up. We don't even know if it's true. We don't even know if she finessed him, got paid and still decided to carry the baby. Cause she could, she's within her right to, to do whatever she wants. And that leads me back to another point about this whole thing, which is, People are, are taking offense to uh, what he said in some of the responses here. I would argue that I don't think he did anything wrong. He made it very clear what he what his stance was on having a child, what he didn't want to do. And the thing is, is um, he didn't, I didn't see anything in here about, um, let's see. He did say about taking the, taking the pill and all that stuff. People are trying to say he forced her to do it. She has her own free will to decide that. It was only after he made a reference to, let's see where it was. Um, I will send you the money. I didn't ask for it, but okay. Once she said, okay, everything after this, when he says, where's the video and do this to me, this is no longer a thing of him pressuring you. You have now entered into a agreement. He sent you money. You accepted the money. So at this point, you got to own up to what you agreed to do. You took the money. You can't play fucking cry me a victim now when you got paid to do this. If you had high morals, you wouldn't have said, I don't want a dollar from you. I'm going to either have it or not based on how I feel. But this to me is it was for the money. And, and, and it's sad because let me get to this other point here. He actually had to come out and make a statement about this, which is, I, let me read it to you. I made comments in the heat of the moment that are not me and that are not aligned with what I believe and who I want to be as a man. All women should be supported and empowered to make their own decisions about their bodies and what's best for them. I'm handling my personal matters privately and will not be commenting on them any further at this time. I think this was an L response. Not that the response was bad. He shouldn't even have responded to this in the first place. There, I don't think there was anything about this that he had to address publicly because one, she brought it out unjustifiably just to, to make him look bad, potentially to expose him and extort him for more money. Um, and probably to be vindictive towards him when this was a totally private matter. We didn't need to know any of this was happening. We really didn't. And furthermore, you know, as I said before, he makes a statement here, and this is probably his PR people doing this. All women should be supported and empowered to make their decisions on, about their bodies and what's best for them. Yeah, that's true. But it doesn't mean that as a man, I can't express that I don't want to have a child or I don't think we should have one. You know, it, it, this is almost sounds in a way that 
a man has no say in anything in the reproductive uh, rights of this all, which we men don't. Uh, it's women have full autonomy on this. They have full choice decision on doing this, whether or not they proceed on with the pregnancy or they terminate it. So, you know, this was kind of a pandering remark here. I didn't really like because when we go back and we look at the part when he says, I'll send you money, she says, okay, everything after this, everything after that point in the conversation, she, she forfeited her, that whole thing, because she agreed now at that point to proceed with, with an abortion because she was going to get paid and you can't come back now and play the fucking card of, Oh, pity me. And you know, I, I didn't want to do this. Yeah. But you took money for it. I mean, it, it speaks to the morality of it all, which is, I think is essentially what I'm getting at here. You know, you have no moral ground, you know, you saying that honestly I had an abortion with my son around two years ago and I regret it every day. But I bet you, you don't have nearly as much regret now that you're getting hundred K or at least you got paid at least hundred K right now. And again, we don't know if she actually is pregnant currently. If she decided to, you know, pump fake them and say, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll terminate it. And she didn't. Now she's going to, because now that's 18 years of, of child support. She bought the bag. That's, that's a come up. You know what I mean? This kind of shit right here drives me up a wall. I hate to see young athletes put themselves in a situation for one, because there is a level of personal responsibility that they should be aware of. They need to get coached by the veterans on those teams or an agency or an organization within the NBA that teaches these young athletes that go get into the pros, how to cope with IG thoughts coming after them in groupies, because it really is problematic. And they're in there and while they need to understand this for themselves, how to move carefully, they also need to be taught because they don't know the signs. You know, women are women can be very manipulative in in when they're using sex as a manipulation tool. Most men are gonna fold. Oh, okay. Put a little put a little pee in front of you. Wave that little punani in front of a guy. He's gonna be oh, you know, he gets a little dumb. It's just how just how men can be, especially for a man that never had it before. It hasn't really been exposed to it. They're going to be like, uh, you know what I'm saying? The NBA and the veterans are, seem to me to be failing these younger athletes. The younger athletes need to know better, man. Stop hitting these chicks raw. It's crazy work. Get, wear rubbers or get a vasectomy. You know what I'm saying? If I was an athlete in, in these guys' positions, let me tell you what I would do. I would go and, and get, freeze a bunch of my sperm in like five to 10 different facilities. So I've got backups. Then I would get a vasectomy and then I would go on a rampage. I do whatever I want because you ain't gonna hit me with a, you got me pregnant line. And then the day I decide that I found the one, then we pull, we pull the, 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 my sperm that's been in storage and we go through that process because I would rather do that than to get caught up for 18 years with some, fucking thought you know what i'm saying crazy times we live in anthony edwards hopefully a lesson learned here it's gonna be interesting to see what comes of this if she actually in fact is still pregnant did she terminate it was it all a lie did she extort him I, there's a lot of conversation around this right here but it, it, it's just crazy to see uh another athlete getting kind of caught up in these situations here you know what i'm saying we're, we're dealing with an ig model What do you guys think? Using, using that physical thing for psychological manipulations. Absolutely. They have uh, conferences on money, savings, investment, women. They need to do more. Halios, what's up? Is that my man, Halios, Halios? She got money and the attention she wanted. She, she got something, you know? And the thing is, is like, was that, was she really pregnant? Was, was the, the, the pregnancy, uh, was that even hers? That could... That's why I said from the beginning of the uh, of my uh, comments, which is, unless I see you piss on that thing in front of me, I'm not taking that shit as as gospel. I'm no, I'm gonna not believe it until you piss in front of me with that thing, so I know first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? They be finessing out here. They really be finessing. Don't forget truckloads of HIV pills. Wait, what? What are you talking about? C's coming in with that one year membership. Bro, he said, uh, Moon is the GOAT, sub up. Yo, thank you guys. Yeah, by the way, guys, if you, if you enjoy the content, if you, whether it's the short form, funny stuff, the live streams, the um, commentary comment that, uh, content that we do, 
Uh, man, come over to kick.com, DJ Moon Dog Live. Sub up to the channel. We finally, hey, thanks to y'all. Y'all killed it the other day. We finally broke 100. 103, man. We're trying to hit that 250. Definitely appreciate that. You can also uh, hit the Cash App. I'll drop a bomb and shout you out for the love. Uh, definitely appreciate the support. If you guys uh, find value or are entertained, if the shit puts a smile on your face, uh, definitely uh, you can show love that way. And it's definitely appreciated. <clears throat> Uh, the solution is not having numerous partners. Y yeah, right. I, the the real solution, Shannon, is having sexual discipline, and it's hard. I'm not gonna lie. When I was in my twenties, I was knocking pussy out the park. I I was um, I was a menace, and I was on a, I was doing it at a global scale. I was around the world knocking it back. Before there was a term for passport bros, I was I, well. I worked in in the government. I was right. I worked for the State Department. So I was. Black Passport, if you don't know about the Black, Black Passport gang, that's diplomatic. I was around here traveling. So, you know, I, I was in various countries enjoying myself, right? Um, but my point is that for a young man, it's... Pussy does something to our brains. It, it, I, we, I can't deny it. It, 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 it. When you're younger and you're not as strong-minded, uh, uh, strong you're just leading with your dick. You're, you're just, you're wherever, you know what I mean? Like that moment's like a bloodhound. It just smells punani and just, wherever it gets on the scent and it just goes there. And you're like, oh, you just go for the ride. But yes, men need to do better. Young men need to do better in controlling the urge and being selective in who you lay in bed with. You know what I'm saying? Because all it takes is for the wrong one to get pregnant. And that's usually how it happens. And now you're stuck with, in a lifetime of, of, shit dealing with that person you know what i'm saying moon if you gotta do that you're gonna have to need uh that peer up on iv drip if you're gonna go raw wait what are you talking about <clears throat> have you eliminated all mercenaries on convoy lines keep glitching like missions bug wait, what are you talking about orlando day was good carlos Yes, discipline. Additionally, disease exists, so individuals should be cognitive of that. Disease can impact a person and their loved ones, offspring. Yeah, that's true too. I think also here, here's here's the thing about it. Um, I am speaking from a perspective of pregnancy, and that's why I haven't included the the obviously like the STI stuff, which is part of it, right? Because if it's not pregnancy, you also have to worry about that side of it. What I will say though, and I think the sentiment here is, is we have now advanced quite a bit in medicine to the point where even if you have HIV, I'll share, I'll share a personal story without giving away who this person is. But um, someone that I know uh, for a lot of years recently told me, uh, we haven't talked for a while, uh, and this is like a homie, like a, like a brother to me, it's not a, it's not a woman, um, recently told me that he contracted HIV and I was fucking like caught off guard. Like what? And, um, but here's the thing is while, yeah, I mean, obviously no one wants to carry any of that stuff, but he caught it early enough and they put him on these pills and it suppresses that shit. So he could basically live a normal ass life. So like we've advanced quite a bit, um, things for herpes, uh, and a lot of other, uh, you know, some of these diseases are lifelong. You can't get rid of them. Others can go away like the clap and, and all that stuff. But my point is like, generally the medicine has improved so much that, that I think most people are not really, I won't say like they're not worried about it, but I think some people think like, you know, I could take some medicine and I'll be all right type shit. You know what I mean? Um, but I, it's still not good. You should still be protective of yourself, right? Because it can impact your reproductive, you know, uh, the reproductive system and having a child that can severely impact them. So you want to be careful. Absolutely. <sighs> I even exfilled the key card. They dropped already. You, Orlando, you must be on the wrong stream, bro. We're not playing Tarkov. SCI can impact the child. Children can be born, carrying diseases. Yep. It's basically what I just said. Um, HIV was terrifying when it was going around and sleeping with random pickups. Yeah, it's changed, man. I mean, HIV back in the eighties was, was insane. I mean, we saw what happened. Those people that, uh, HIV going into AIDS and, and deterioration, very, very sad. 
my my biological biological father contracted HIV, and he didn't die directly from HIV, but he developed cancer, and because of the weakened immune state, it took him out. Right. So yeah, there's a lot of other things that impact it. So you got to be careful for multiple reasons, you know. But I'll tell you what. If it was between, if I had to, if you had a, uh, uh, you know, if you had a pew pew to my head here and you said, moon, you got to pick either paying a hundred thousand a month to some IG thought that you got knocked up for the next 18 years, or you contract a, a, a uncurable disease. Hey man, just, just go ahead. Just go ahead and, and just go ahead and give me the disease, man. Fuck it. Whatever it is. I, I'll just, I'd rather take medicine for that shit for us. My life. Hey, yo, I rather do that than to be stuck with an insufferable IG model. That's extorting me for money for, for 18, at least 18 years. You know what I'm saying? And then have to trust that she's going to raise my child in a, oh yeah, no, nah. just give me, just give me the disease. I, that's all I would do. Just give me, just give me the disease. Fuck it.